So today I got a new vehicle for you guys. This time it's not a tank, surprisingly. I know I make a lot of those, but uh, this is called the M497. As you can see there, it was a experimental jet train built for New York Central. And that's basically it. Uh, as you can see, the uh, paint job's complete. There would be a lot of things I would change to just maybe these stripes go a little bit too thin on some of them, but I'll have to figure that out more. But it's mainly complete. So to get in, you can either get through these back doors right here, or you can go to the front over here and press that button. You can grab onto this one and then turn to the right and then turn behind you and look up and just crouch to try and get in. And close the door right there. Same on the other side. Circuit breaker is right here. Should be already on, but if you need more battery, you can always see the exhaust auxiliary. It does have an alternator, so you probably don't need that. Uh, the train is not very detailed, and because there's only one picture of the whole train's interior, which is like the camera angles right here, you can just see the seats, and then there's a little recording station. I'm kind of sad that there's no more pictures, but it's the best I can do. I don't know what the the uh, front area looks like on the inside either, so just what you have for now. Uh, startup procedure. What you want to do is you want to turn on the compressor. You then want to turn all the, the throttle up all the way to the max. And then you want to reduce it to around 30 or 40. Just so you don't overheat them and blow them up. You could go faster which will give you a max speed of around 500 miles per hour. So getting on a seat. You have thrust reduction, so if you don't want to keep the, or if you want to get the RPS up, but the less throttle, you can use the thrust reduction. There's a brake right here. It is not very good at stopping while the jet is on, so you'll have to turn off and then apply the brakes. So for example, it doesn't reduce the speed at all, even if at full. Uh, the accurate speed would have been around 180. You can get this speed if you go to around 27 or 28. So it should reduce down to 170 or 180 around that area. One of the controls you have in the seat are the lights. So you can turn on the front light. You can turn on these two lights at the back. These red lights will stay on for the most part. And then you can also turn on the backlights for all the dials. And backlights does not mean backlights right there, it means the backlights right here. Gauge lights would be indicated by that. But uh, that's basically it. It has a coupler at the front for any cargo you want to transport. And then it has one at the front. I haven't tested this one out at the front though. so. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And this area is actually not painted. It should be, but it's not. But uh, that should be it for this train. So I'll see you next time. Actually, I'll put it on to full so you can see how fast it goes. Max speed of around 460. I'm going to decrease that before the engines catch on fire. But uh, that should be it. So I'll see you in the next video.